In this video, we will review the Klipsch T52 McLaren Edition earbuds. At the time of making this video, they are being sold for almost 450 Australian dollars. So out of the box, you get a couple of cool looking stickers, then a very useful and informative user manual, one leaflet on how to operate the charging pad that it comes with, one small booklet with a bit of history about both the companies and at the back of which you get this unique commemorative card that's just one of a kind. Then you also get 5 sets of Klipsch patented oval shaped ear tips, one USB-C to USB-A converter, a pretty long USB-C charging cable with an armored coat, informations about your lifetime warranty and few other things. And finally, a very well-made wireless charging pad that is big enough to charge your phone and the Clips earbuds at the same time. The case will fit right inside your palm so you will not have any problems putting them inside your pants pockets. Plus, they only weigh a little over 50 grams with the Clips earbuds inside. Plus, the earbuds are IPX4 rated, which means they are durable enough to withstand certain environmental elements like light rain or a sweaty commute. And that lightweight design is due to the choice of materials from Klipsch and McLaren. Firstly, the whole body is made up of real carbon fiber, except for the sides of course, which is a co-molded outer shell that reflects the intermediate tread on the actual McLaren F1 cars. Add to all this the signature papaya color of McLaren and you have a genuine looker of a earbud, no questions asked. The Klipsch T52 ANC earbuds are also made from the same carbon fiber material which makes them very lightweight and those patented oval earbuds are actually amazing at giving a proper seal around the ear canals. The result of all this is a very tight fit earbud. Some people may find this fit a bit tight for their comfort but I actually enjoyed it quite a bit during my time testing them outdoors. The fact that I do not have to worry about them falling off my ears are actually very comforting. The battery on the earbuds will last near about 5 hours with ANC on but I got a little less than that with the way I was using it and I was able to recharge the earbuds with the case a further 3 more times. These numbers are a little below average but the saving grace is that the Klipsch T52 earbuds actually offer fast charging via the USB-C cable as well as with any Qi charging wireless mat with a fast charging brick. This makes sure that you reach 0 to 100% battery life just under the 1.2 hours mark. The Klipsch T52 ANC earbuds come with actual physical controls, which I absolutely love. You just have to press on the logos on each of the earbuds to register a command, and as you do it, you will get a little tactile feedback. You can even program these commands from the app to control music playback and volume the way you like. Klipsch is also bragging about a truly hands-free feature from a company called Bragi. Basically, you can nod your head to accept or decline a phone call or skip between tracks. Now, I did everything I could possibly to get this feature to work for me, but I was not able to. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this feature is still in the beta phase, so I will give them the benefit of the doubt here. Because if Klipsch can get this thing to work properly, it will definitely be a game changer and this could be a feature that I see myself using on the daily. The Klipsch T52 ANC earbuds connect via the older Bluetooth 5.0 technology but supports all the popular codecs including aptX. Plus, they have a line of sight of 10 meters. But overall, I'm happy with the snappy Bluetooth connection and have no problems with sync issues or any other issues relating to connectivity. The ANC performance on the T52 is not that bad. It is not as aggressive as the Sony or Bose which I think that some people might actually like because it will not give you any sort of headache. And on a positive side, they are also able to dial out high range bass frequencies a little bit so your morning commute on a train will not be that disturbing. However, people chattering on the background or the mid-range frequency does not get blocked that well. The Klipsch T52 also has a transparency mode which is functional. Again, it's not as good as the AirPods Pro in any way, so if you want to have a conversation with them on, it is best advised that you take off the earbuds. But there is another Bragi enabled feature here which works as advertised and it is called Noise Shield. Basically, while in transparency mode, if the earbuds detect a loud noise nearby, it will kind of activate the ANC mode to protect your ears. And in terms of sound, there is big talk about direct HD sound. 
Apparently, this technology drastically improves music staging, clarity, voice intelligibility, and bass fidelity while still allowing for custom sound equalizers to personalize your earphones. But in real life, what it means is you get a very mid-range focused earbuds. So if you're looking for bass, then these earbuds are not for you. And if you listen to rock, then it may or may not fit the bill either. Because on songs such as Can't Stop from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, you will not hear the bass line from Plea that prominently. Also on the drums, you will only notice the snare and the hi-hats the most. The vocals and the lead guitars, however, is very strong, but I felt like the separation of layers were not that great. Also in terms of staging, it feels very compact with not a lot of headspace. But there is a custom 6-band equalizer, but the sound signature is such that you will always get a mid-heavy sound. But this is not a bad sound signature by any means. Early Bose headphones used to sound a lot like this, so I guess if you can test them out before buying it, then I will highly recommend that. Testing the microphone of the So as you just heard that the call quality is okay. Klipsch T5 II does manage to block out most background noise, but sometimes if it gets too windy because of a car zipping past or just the wind playing up, then you will get a bit of a whooshing effect. Also the voice seems to up and down a little bit depending on the background sound, which I did not like too much. But the good thing is that I have turned on another Bragi enabled feature here called voice awareness. This lets me hear my voice and my surrounding very clearly, so I did not yell out unnecessarily in a call which made me sound more natural. So overall, I guess this is a good earbud as it has a lot of things to offer in terms of features, but the price point really questions its worth. I mean the unboxing experience has been second to none as it was a lot of fun for me, but if you are not a fan of either of these companies, then I'm not really sure if they will live up to that expectation that comes with that heavy price tag. There is a cheaper version of the same earbuds of course, minus the charging dock and a few other McLaren stuff that you can look into if you're looking for something cheaper. Or maybe the Master and Dynamic MW08 Earbud Sport which is on the same price bracket as the McLaren Edition earbud but offers a lot more that you can look into. But that's just me, please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed watching this video then please like, share and subscribe. This is Nafi signing off till next week, peace!